Thanks for joining us. In Indianapolis alone, there have been 111 homicides since the first day of this year. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Jenny Dreisler. And with homicides topping triple digits, Metro Police are on a mission to bring Hoosier families justice and some closure. Within the past 48 hours, they made arrests in three separate homicide investigations. All three happened just within the past two months. And in each case, detectives say they couldn't have done it without the community's help and without some outstanding investigative work. And on top of that, IMPD tells us nearly 70% of this year's homicide cases have already been cleared. But as Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara explains, there's still plenty more work to be done. IMPD officials say lately they've invested significantly in technology, work to bring in more detectives, and increase communication between district commanders and task forces. And it's paying off with a higher homicide clearance rate. We're not counting this as a victory. We have a long way to go when we talk about our violent crime. As we've previously reported, a case is considered cleared when an arrest is made or charges are filed. From January to now, IMPD says its clearance rate sits at 69%, including criminal and non-criminal homicides. I think the community is fed up with the number of, of violent crime, whether that be homicides or aggravated assaults, and so that's played a significant role in us to be able to make those arrests. The numbers are trending notably better compared to last year's. At the end of 2023, only 45 percent of the year's homicides had been cleared. As investigators continue working, the clearance rate for 2023 has risen to 50 percent. But among the remaining half of unsolved cases is that of 17-year-old Corian Waits. He was just like more of a leader in the family of friends. Everybody looked up to Corian. They call him the president. Waits was killed in March of last year after police say he was shot outside of an apartment complex on the near west side and ran inside for help. His mother has spent the last 16 months waiting for closure she's unsure she'll ever get. Very unfair, angry, mad. No answers, no questions, confused. She says Corian was picked up by a friend that day, which she says was captured by security cameras. But what happened once they got to the complex was not. They have the car. They even have the second guy that was in the car. They just said they had to investigate more who was the, uh, the person who pulled the trigger. IMPD says they'll continue looking at new investigative strategies for all cases as they promote peaceful conflict resolution to prevent violence in the first place. Latasha Waits hopes for a day that no other parents of teenagers will have to experience the kind of grief that she has. Stay in school, don't be in the streets, and just listen to your parents because the streets are wicked. In Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.